Hello everybody and welcome back to Satisfactory. My name is Dakoba and today we are taking a look at coal power plants. We're going to be using coal generators in order to create a simple coal power plant that will produce 300 megawatts per minute. This is a great first coal power plant if you are just starting to automate power production in your factory. We'll also talk about how you can expand this to any size coal generator and what ratios you need to maintain in order to do that. We're gonna be building two water extractors, four coal generators, and one biomass burner. One biomass burner will be enough to jumpstart this, powering both water extractors and a miner for long enough to get your power plant up and running. Now this power plant will sit on a five by five foundation grid. Although if you're limited on space, you can remove the back line of foundations as those are only there as a walkway and to make wiring up your power plant a little bit easier. They are not essential for the build. You can also see that I've placed an outline of foundations around where I want to put my water extractors. I found that this helps a great deal in placing the water extractors and getting them to align appropriately with the generators. In addition to the parts for the biomass burner, four generators, two water extractors, and a miner for the coal, I recommend bringing a large number of concrete, iron rods, iron plates, and copper sheeting in order to make sure that we have the materials to build the infrastructure around our factory without hesitation. The first thing I recommend you do is build a lookout tower. This will allow us to place the water extractors from above, which makes it much easier to align them to the grid appropriately. Placing your water extractor, you want to place it along the grid as precisely as possible. This outline will hold exactly two water extractors side by side, and we want these to also be in alignment with the front of our foundations. So let's squeeze this into the corner as precisely as we can. And you can see the hologram change color when we start to overlap with our foundations. Once you have the first water generator placed, you can simply click the second one in beside it. Each of our two water extractors will produce 120 cubic meters of water per minute. However, our power plants will only use a portion of that. We need to underclock these two water extractors to 75% efficiency. It's worth noting that if you're using a single biomass burner to jumpstart both water extractors and a miner, you'll actually need to underclock one of the water extractors a little bit lower just to get the power plant up and running. I recommend 70% because that gives you enough buffer to run the miner and both water extractors off a single biomass burner for long enough to get all four coal generators started, and then you can increase the clock speed of the water extractor back to 75%. With both water extractors placed, we can remove our lookout tower and start to place the foundations for our generators. For this design, we're going to be using a bottom-fed supply line, which means we need to make a foundation layer 4 meters above where our base foundations lie. Our second foundation layer should be 4 foundations deep. It should be placed offset by 1 from the very front of our lower foundation layer. Next, place your four coal generators on your upper foundation layer, perfectly aligned to the side of the layer, but overlapping the front by one tick. To the front of each coal generator, place a vertical conveyor lift that feeds in from underneath and behind the generator. Behind each of these conveyor lifts, place a conveyor splitter aligned to the center of the foundation behind it. You can then hook up these conveyor splitters to the conveyor lifts. Begin connecting your water extractors to your generators. Start by placing a pipeline support at each end of your foundation, offset by one from the center of the front foundation. Connect these with a pipeline. Place a pipeline junction cross directly in front of each generator input line as well as each water extractor output line. In update 5, snapping is enabled along pipeline junctions, making this very easy. Using the horizontal to vertical build mode, connect each pipeline junction cross to the corresponding structure. Next, connect power to all of your buildings.
To jumpstart your system, make sure that both water extractors are set to 75% efficiency and place a single biomass burner connected to your system. Add in some fuel and allow it to spin up. You can see that both water extractors set to 75% draw only 25.2 megawatts and the biomass burner provides 30. Once the cool power plants get water from the water, gener water extractors, coal from the fuel line, they will start to turn on and watch the system activate. Once the coal generators are active and stable, you can go ahead and disconnect your biomass burner. I found that in Update 5, there's a small amount of fluid loss in a perfectly tuned system meaning that occasionally one of your power plants will flicker off for just a second before it resumes normal operation. To correct this, I actually overload my fluid buffers by just a little bit. I have one of these water generators set to 76%. Thus, instead of my power plant flickering off occasionally, a water generator will flicker off occasionally, which is much preferable because it doesn't shut down the rest of my factory. Three water extractors will provide exactly the right amount water for eight coal generators. Instead, I recommend using one water extractor tuned to 75% per two coal generators. Every eight generators, this will require you to construct an additional water extractor. This may take up a little bit more space and some more materials, but it reduces the power overhead of running the plant by 15%. That is the power cost of running the extractor. From an organizational standpoint, one water extractor is exactly the same width as two generators, meaning that this system, once it's up and running, can be scaled indefinitely. The one place where I would recommend using three water extractors per eight generators instead of four to 75% is if you're building someplace like the grassy plains where there's less water available and you're trying to build this in smaller pools but all of the other starting areas have easy access to vast oceans or long rivers, and there's no shortage of space for water extractors. Once you've unlocked them from the awesome shop, you can add walkways, railings, wall power connectors, and lights in order to beautify your power plant. You can also use the customizer to add your own color scheme to your power plant. That'll do it for today. Thank you for watching, and remember to hit like and subscribe for more satisfactory content.